you agree? I hope so. Yes, he is. Honestly, he is. I'm sure he is. He's frightening me this morning. If you've got any questions to ask Michael about Mr. Bronson, our phone and fax lines are open. Anything you'd like to know, perhaps about the toupee or the uh, famous bow tie, you can get on the fax or the phone. Now, there are lovely numbers, and uh, you'll be speaking to everyone, won't you? You'll be very civil and nice. I will. I will Super indeed. duper. Get on those phones. Get dialing this morning. We'd now. We'd to hear from you. Ring now. Oh, my word. is Grange who? Money. No, it's a service. Yeah, for who? For them that missed it. Yeah, well, we didn't. Well, good for you. We're both tight. Go away. Grange it on the radio. Anyway, I should ask you for some money. What? Well, my voice is going to be on there. Yeah, you should pay her. <laughs> and the rest of them. Oh, look, get lost. Everyone whose voice is on there should get some. Get lost! Grange it on the radio. Sir? How much are they? That's two pounds to you, sir. Should you really pay something? I don't know, I just thought I'd say it. Please tell me you didn't. Would you like to buy a raffle ticket? Mr. Bronson's leaving presents. What's the raffle for? A box of chocolates and a record token. No, I mean, who's running it? Can I let you have ten pounds? Oh, oh, thank you very much, Sue. Great fun yeah. for our American prom. What are you going to get? I don't know, it depends on how much we get, really. Oh, can we come? Uh, no, no, sorry. No. Oh, well, no thanks then. Oh, come on, Mr. Bronson. Mr. Bronson, I hate his guts, and I'm not yeah. giving him anything. Oh, this is for my dinner money. Oh, oh, cheers, what you give them that for? It's their prom. Let them make some money for it. One. Why lie? So how's it going? I don't know whether we should have bothered. I tried to tell you. I know, but I didn't think it was going to be this bad. I thought people would have paid to see the back of him. Helen, <laughs> he is retiring. Oh, any other teacher, yeah. He's been teaching here for years. He deserves to get something. Look, just go around and see how much you get, and then we'll sort it out. I mean, it may be something small. Yeah, but it's the fault that counts, isn't it? It'd be nice to get him something decent, though. A memento? Yeah, we'll find something. Look, just go off and get their money. See you later. Yeah, good luck. Oh, we ain't there to leave it all to her. I hope she gets enough of something decent. I mean, it could be quite embarrassing. Oh, no. Great on the radio. Get rid of us, gone. Won district cup twice on the trot, but since Freddie's left, well, there's nothing left, really. Ziggy's not a bad player. We'll be, I suppose, sometimes, but since Freddie's left, we don't really know. Well, we're getting there. Another forty pounds. Is it today you picked the band? Yeah, four o'clock. How many have you got coming? So are they any good? Well, come in here then. In the hall, sir. Right, that leaves food and decorations. Oh, we should have enough for them. Well. Well, there's still the raffle and the sponsorship, mm -hmm. and the firm that Ellen Kelly's with said they'll give us a score, and all the local shops have said they'll give. Something. Yeah, well, we know they mean it when we go to collect it. <laughs> Shall we make a start? Fiona, come on, just what did you do to celebrate? Come on, Mandy. Come in. Well, I don't know what Come on, the dating scheme. We're here about the prom. My name's in there. I wonder who I'll get. <laughs> School meals are a running joke. This is it. No, they're on joke here. I mean, you're all right. You've got no sense of taste. You know, you can't taste me. Cleaver. <laughs> <laughs> you know what rules you taste like? Don't come here. I mean, all that mint champagne. What's he saying that? Can we cabin, so it's <laughs> He's got a nerve, well, isn't he? strong opinions there. I take it you would like them to be privatised. Right, get in this light and bring a new light. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that? Oh, thank you, Vince. <laughs> now, someone over here... You said my mind. Well, thank you, Vince. She did. Now, she said my mind. Here, your and name is... cold reaper's mate. Oh, we'll have school dinners for a while, mate. Yeah, yeah not unless you come with your scars. Sticky lad. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble for this. You think that's funny? <laughs> You've got to see the funny side, Vince. Right, is that it? Wait till I get older. <laughs> look at everyone. Streak is turning green. I mean, look at them mince pies. <laughs> yeah, look at his stack. And I look at shit. on a bear's my own. <laughs> want a public apology. <laughs> what is going on? Trevor Cleaver. It's a bit like you're getting back now, really, Vince. I think there's something. Yeah, well, when you do, let us know, because we just love to see it, Vince. The Wanderers return. This is your prom, you know. The fact that we're co-sponsors doesn't mean that we do all the work. Now, the first thing we've got to decide is refreshments. Do we want the American theme to be reflected in the food and drink? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. On the radio? Oh, you heard it. Yes, I thought it was OK. I mean, I think it gave a pretty fair impression. I haven't rung because I'm offended by what Helen said. 
I admire her spirit, although I would say in our defense that engineering is changing. There are still more men than women, but the women are getting in there. So tell Helen she's not the only pioneer. I'll pass that on. It's just I got the impression that all the engineers she met were men. Ah, well... Uh... How many female engineers do you have? <laughs> well, we don't have any just at the moment. Ah. Well, your company is her yardstick. Yes, I see what you mean. We're not against women engineers. I wouldn't want her to think that. Oh, no, I'm sure she understands that. I wasn't ringing to complain. It's just the opposite. We enjoyed having Helen coming to work with us, and perhaps we could try the experiment again. But next time, one of your teachers could come down, and we could have a chat. We'll find out what would be most useful for both sides. That sounds like a good idea. We'll pass on our good wishes to Helen with her exam. I will. Come in. And thank you for ringing, Mr. Aldridge. Goodbye. Sorry to barge in. It's all right. How many female engineers do you know? Pardon? Right. It's about Justine Dean and Terence Ratcliffe. Look, he don't want me to come. It's up to you. Well, do you want me to? I don't mind. You should be in school. But what's that supposed to mean? Look, I'm going to see my mum. I'll easily manage. Yeah, but it's a long way on your own. What if she's not there? She don't even know you're coming. Well, I'll wait. We could both wait. Oh, which bus is it? Over there. See? Get off. Look, will I come or won't I? Yes or no? It's up to you. Well, do you want me to? Well, you're here, so... Look, just tell me. I don't know. Look. No. I didn't mean... I know. It's just... Oh, come on. Look, will you forget the tapes? The tapes they're queuing up for. Yeah, and the names are piling now. Yo, yeah, can't you deal with it? You said the scheme was yours. No, we never. Yes, you did. I've got it here. Oh, we only show it how it works. No, you didn't. But you squeezed me out of this slimy We couldn't find you, Bronx. Oh, and you looked so hard. Hello, Mr. Bronx is leaving presents. Hello, piggy bank. How nice. Come on. For Bronx, you're joking, aren't you? Here you go, Kelly. Oh, thanks, Mandy. Yeah, well, uh, there's a lot of work ahead. Yeah, well, I'm leaving soon. Hope you're going to do the same for me, you know. What? The Ziggy Greaves appeal. Yeah, save us, gals. Save us, gals? Yeah, well, I'm going to do the same for you. Yeah, well, uh, I'm leaving soon. Hope you're going to do the same for me, you know. What? The Ziggy Greaves appeal. Yeah, save us, gals. Save us, gals? Very good. Very humorous. Thank you very much. Ronnie, how do you think it's been so far? But when you've been into a routine and you find that you... Sorry, sir. Then, when you've been doing the same thing for a number of years, obviously, you get into what you do. Yes, sir. Bodhi Brunson smiled. All right? All right. All right, all right. Should we invite Mr. Brunson to the prom? Oh, do we have to? Well, we've we invited so many of the others, it wouldn't be fair to leave them out. <laughs> yeah, but we'll have to get him a date, though, wouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, we've got to fix him up. <laughs> well, who's going to volunteer to ask him, then? Hey, don't look at me. Uh, not me, but look at me. Oh, then we're just going to have to toss it, aren't we? Look, you're supposed to wear a suit. I haven't got one. You can go in what you like. No, you can't. I promise you dressing up. I'm dressing up. I'm going as Rambo. No, you've got it wrong. They wear bow ties and things. I saw it in this film once. Bow ties? Yeah, and the girls wore all smart dresses. I thought they had a theme. Well, the hotel was all done up. Hotel? Yeah, and they arrived in these great big cars. That's Hollywood, not here. They can't all be like that. You're going as who? Oh. Hi, Mola. I'm going as Rambo. Oh. All right, then. I'll go as Rocky. Oh, no, you won't. He's going as Rocky. So Rocky's off as well. You can go as... And what can you go as? Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man? You heard. <laughs> Spider-Man. He looks like a Spider-Man, doesn't he? Yes, indeed. Yeah. Spider-Man? They're psychos. Well, so, do you think Mr. Aldridge was a bit upset by what I said on the radio? <laughs> no, he found it quite funny. I hope you haven't upset him. They were going to give us money for the prom. Well, I was hoping they are going to give me a job. Well, surely you've raised enough by now. Oh, well, just about. We'll leave the rest of Mr. Bronson. Yeah, he was trying to think of what to get him, sir. Oh, that's nice. I suppose the staff will be getting him something, won't they? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, yes. I, uh, wonder who's going to replace him? Yes, I wonder. Oh, tell us, sir. Is it going to be you? <coughs> Deputy head. <laughs> Why not, sir? Well, I'd be too strict. I'd make you wish Mr. Bronson hadn't gone. <laughs> Oh, 
Look, when we get there, you go in and I'll wait outside. I mean, I've never met your mum. Sort of feels a bit strange. She probably won't even know who I am. The last time she saw me, I was only about four. Some young man did. Is it that long? Yeah. I probably won't even know her. You will. I bet you will. She'll know you. Now, why have you written that? I don't know, sir. Think, girl, think. I'm trying. Oh, oh. this is stupid. So, if the adjective goes after, it's Sir? Yes? You'd like a little word with you, sir? Yes. Yeah. We'd like to invite you to the prom, sir. You know, the, the, the dance, sir. I know. Thank you. A black tie, of course. Black tie and dinner jacket, I believe that is the form on these occasions. Um, it's Hollywood, sir. Yeah, I mean, that means that you come dressed like someone out of Hollywood, you know? Mm. Yeah, you never know. Might win a prize. Hollywood, eh? Well, perhaps a compromise. Thank you. I shall be there. Now then, Wilson, where were we? Ah, yes. Try the past. Gonna get you. Mm. How would you like it if I did the same to you? Oh, I'd probably punch a Reading Vince. Yeah, well, there you go. Which is not That's me, isn't it? I'll think of something. You'll think of what? You boys! All right, come along. Quietly. cares about mosaics? They're boring. Quietly. It's just jealous. I mean, it's not even her design. It's Danny Kendall's. Are you part of it? Good heavens, Mr Griffiths. Oh, oh yes, I know. Oh, they took their time. On well, the contrary, I called this quick. I just wish I'd broadcast it before. The power of radio. <laughs> Does she live here? Oh, no, Mrs. Radcliffe, she's not here anymore. I'm sorry, love, she's gone. She moved away. Mrs. Radcliffe? Yeah. I don't know where she went. I don't have an address. She never told me she'd a boy. Look, come on in. No. Come on. Whereabouts do you live? Have you come here on your own? No. Well, don't just go. Are you with him? She won't know, will she? OK, turn. Here we go. You like the way it's been done, Christine? Yeah, it's great. Do you all like it? Yeah. yeah. Well done, Christine. And thanks to those who didn't win. You all worked very hard on your designs. Well done. Yes, well done, everybody. Which room is Danny Kendall's? Um, this bit over there and that bit up there. How'd you know that? <laughs> Clark. 